this video on C Sharp Basics, we'll be talking about array variables. Now, array variables allow you to store multiple values of the same data type in one variable. You use the index, or sometimes called a subscript, to reference a specific value within the array. Arrays can be declared separately or with initial values. Arrays can also be declared with or without initial index or subscript ranges. And finally, value retrieval begins at index or subscript zero. So let's go over the process of declaring an array variable. First, you're going to need to declare a variable as an array. And you do that by putting these two square brackets at the end of the data type. So you can see here, I've highlighted the two square brackets that indicate that this values variable is in fact an array. Next, you need to assign a new array to the variable with a subscript range. And a subscript range is basically how many different values do you plan on holding within the array. So here we're saying that the values array should contain one integer. And we're specifying that one value by putting one within the brackets. Then lastly, we're going to assign a value not to the variable specifically, but rather to the specific subscript value. Now this can look a little confusing at first, but what we're doing here is we're setting the values subscript zero with a value of one. Alternatively, you can declare an array with initial values. So here we're declaring the values variable as an int array. Then we're assigning it a new int array with a subscript range of three, which indicates that it can hold three values. Within curly braces after this, we went ahead and put the values of one, 20, and 50. So here's our array declaration, just like we saw in the previous slide, followed by the subscript range within our new statement, and finally, our initial values getting assigned to the different ranges within our subscript. Now, the first value of one starts with subscript zero. The second value of 20 is in subscript one. And the third value of 50 is in subscript two. To reference a particular location within an array, it's pretty straightforward. Here's how you can assign a value to a particular location within an array besides doing it as an initial value. Here we're setting the values variable with subscript zero equal to one. The key part here is what I've highlighted. The variable name of values and the subscript value of zero is being assigned a value of one. To retrieve a value, it's basically the same thing. Here we're declaring a new variable called value one and we're assigning it the value that comes from the values variable of subscript zero. Once again, the highlighted part is what's important, the values variable, and we're specifying the subscript of zero. We want the subscript zero value to be assigned to the variable called value one. We'll do some demonstrations in the next video, which should make things quite a bit more clear.